Congress, yeah. Congressman Kucinich, I want to move to a different area because yeah. uh, right. this is a serious, a serious question. The godmother of your daughter, Shirley MacLaine, writes in her new book that you cited a UFO over her home in Washington State, <laughs> that you found the encounter extremely moving, that it was a triangular craft, silent and hovering, that if you felt a connection to your heart and heard directions in your mind. Now, did you see a UFO? Uh, I, I did, and uh, the rest of the account, oh, I, I didn't, I, it was an unidentified flying object, okay? It's like, it's unidentified. I saw something. Now, to answer your question, um, I'm moving my, it's, and I'm also going to move my campaign office to Roswell, New Mexico, and another one in Exeter, New Hampshire, okay? And, uh, and also, you have to keep in mind that more, that Jimmy Carter saw a UFO, and also that more people in this country uh, uh, have seen UFOs and I think approve of George Bush's presidency. Actually, Fort and, and, and so, wait, we're just getting started here. No, no, I mean, so, no, we have about 14% of Americans say they have seen UFOs. I want to move. Ask what was the percentage? 14%. What was want, that percentage? 14. Thank you. I want to see, uh, I'm going to ask Senator Obama a question in the same line. The three astronauts of Apollo 11 who went to the moon back in 1969 all said that they believe there is life beyond Earth. Do you agree? You know, I don't know, and I don't presume to know. What I know is there is life here on Earth, and, and that we're not attending to life here on Earth. Uh, we're not taking care of kids uh, who are alive and unfortunately are not getting health care. We're not taking care of senior citizens who are alive and are seeing their uh, heating prices go up. So as president, those are the people I will be attending to first. Let's, there may be uh, some other folks on their way. Let's, um, 